taking your point that we're no longer a in the United Kingdom as Christian as perhaps we may have seen ourselves in the past, does that cause you grief? Are you worried about that? I'm concerned about what appears to be um, a work within media and within politics to marginalise the church. Um, I don't lose any sleep over it because um, I've read the end of the Bible, as we all say, we win. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I do believe very strongly that, you know, no one is going from an external position going to marginalise us at the end of the day. Uh, but the fact that people should take upon themselves with an, with an agenda to do that uh, is, cu is curtailing the freedoms of Christians to, to operate uh, within their local context. So it, it distresses me certainly when I hear uh, marriage guidance counsellors who are sacked because uh, they don't want to suspend their Christian principles in order to do their job, or probation officers, or or nurses, and you know there's horrendous stories of people who uh, have just prayed with a distressed elderly patient, and uh, and have been put on a disciplinary charge. You know those kind of things upset me for those people, but in the the bigger picture, I don't get distressed because I know the gospel in every culture, in every culture, every time, always wins through. The Christian church is stronger in the Soviet Union uh, and in China than ever it has ever been in, in as, uh, you know, since the, uh, in, in the last thousand years. God will build his church. He says, I will, God, Jesus says, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And so, although in the short term you're concerned about what's happening by legislation in Parliament, etc., in the bigger picture you're not too concerned because whatever persecution we might face at the moment is nothing compared with what's going on in North Korea and in various parts of the world in Sudan. Um, and if these people can break through that kind of bondage, the Bible says the Word of God is not bound. You can't bind the Word of God uh, you can, any more than you can, um, you can hold wind in one place and air. You can't do it. And the Holy Spirit will not be bound. The Word of God will not be bound. And the church will always be built. It's exciting. And I'm ever so glad to be alive at this time in uh, this part of history when the church is doing such great things around the world.